Hello, right, we have something a little bit different, a phone, look at that, the new Google Pixel 6 Pro, right, and this is in, what colour did we get, sort of sunny, so it's like a yellow, I didn't really want to go for a cloud of white, there's my opening device, because I think that looks quite dirty sort of looking colour, oh we don't need that, some lovely little tabs here, one, two, now it's a very small box, so you don't get much in it. The box is sort of yellowy coloured, like the phone. Might be a bit of a girly colour, but I quite like this colour. It looks alright, it's quite well presented in the, uh, in the box. That's the phone, that's how it comes. Actually, quite thick. I thought that would be slimmer than that, but that is quite a thick, quite a thick phone. We've got the camera bump. We've got a nice sort of a goldy, creamy surround. There's your SIM card slot just there. Speaker ports and, and the old uh, USB-C. Bottom, three buttons on the side, which is exactly the same as Samsung's, except they're round the other way. No slider or thingy to put it on instant sort of mute. Right, let's just pop that down there. And that's what rest is in the box, which is quite a thick little manual. I'm not seeing a SIM tool in here anywhere which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm not sure where mine is. Your usual USB-C to USB-C uh, charging uh, lead, and USB-A to USB-C. Now, let me have a quick look in this box, because... Oh. The SIM tool. I wonder if it is in there. Well, there is a couple of little booklets here. Ah, there we are. Right, so you've got the usual quick start guide just there. And then an absolutely massive but very tiny manual. Really thick. I'm not really sure of the point of that. You might as well just put the manual online like that. Pretty much everything else is these days. No headphones. That's a bit sucky. Like we've got some nice bows ones. Simping tool. There we go. That is absolutely everything. Let's do the uh, the peel. Oh, okay. So it's not all the way around the phone. So it's only that bit there. The rest is already unwrapped. Curved screen. It's pretty much almost identical screen looking to my. Uh, my note it's a little bit smaller which is good because the uh the note 20 ultra that i've got is a bit too tall for me um i've not had any luck finding any screen protectors well any screen protectors that work with the, the thumbprint scanner which i find a bit weird seeing as uh i can get them for my uh samsung ultra even with a uh, curved screen, they are a bit crap, but and it does work with a thin fingerprint, uh, fingerprint scanner. Um, these apparently don't really work with fingerprint scanners if you put a glass protector on there, and they struggle even with the film ones. So look at the actual uh, cameras in there, it's actually quite good. And the colour of this is really nice, I like that colour, I'm glad I went for that instead of the cloudy. It just looked off white, that definitely looks yellow with a sort of a yellowy pink stripe at the top. The rest of it is a phone. Alright, thank you very much for watching my unboxing. Oh, my cat's just showing up. Look, she's just down here. She's gonna say hello. Gonna come and say hello, my darling. There we go. In the pain, in the, in the, not me. Oh, not going up there, my dear. Right, thank you very much. Like and subscribe.
Imagine.